In chapter 250 of Jujutsu Kaisen, Sukuna is absolutely blown away by the durability of the Jujutsu Sorcerers. When he asks how it's possible that they achieve this growth over the past month, we get an interesting statement by Yuta. Hilariously, while Yuji mentions how they achieve their strength through hard work and determination, Yuta more bluntly states that they cheated, and that really got me thinking what he meant by this. You see, we got very little insight as to what exactly happened between the time when Gojo was unsealed and the fight against Sukuna, except for the little flashbacks that Gege has been feeding us throughout the recent chapters. So throughout this video, I want to dissect what Yuta potentially meant by this statement and what their training method looked like in order to prepare for the king of curses. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. There's been many theories that have been circulating in the fanbase about how the group got so strong and the most prevalent one has to be that they used Mio's simple domain to basically act as a hyperbolic time chamber to train far past the one month that was occurring in reality. If you guys remember, Mio's simple domain allows him to expand a sumo ring where the intended purpose was for him to practice sumo to his heart's content. In chapter 196 and 197, as Maki is fighting against her spirit Naoya, Mio enters the battle and challenges her to a sumo match. Throughout her experiences in the domain, Maki learns the true essence of her heavenly restriction and comes out of the barrier practically on the same level as Toji Zenin. It's then said in Mio's domain, about 1,000 bouts of sumo occurred in less than one minute outside the barrier. If we lowball the time it takes for a sumo match being in the realm of just seconds for an amateur, that would mean that the sorcerers would have increased their time to train for fighting Sukuna thousands of times over. It's possible that with the help of Mio, many of the Jujutsu students like Maki were able to improve their control over their cursed energy and cursed techniques just by being within his domain and training against one another. And this wouldn't be too surprising to me since it's been shown on multiple occasions that Gege has gotten inspiration from other manga such as Hunter x Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho. Therefore, a Dragon Ball reference wouldn't be all that surprising. Another theory that's very popular is that the students have been swapping souls with one another, possessing each other's bodies and learning from their experiences. We see this particularly when Yuji is training with Kusakabe in chapter 222. After finishing a brief sparring match, we see Yuji telling Kusakabe, Master it already, Itadori, to which Kusakabe replies, Osu. This basically confirms that either Yuji or the rest of the Jujutsu High School Squad has figured out a way to manipulate the soul and switch bodies with one another, but I'm particularly leaning towards this being an ability solely for Yuji himself. And while it's not completely confirmed, I believe that swapping souls with another person allows for the user to gain their experience and mastery over cursed energy. I believe this is the case because the soul and cursed energy are two different entities entirely. We saw that Mahito could essentially overcome the durability of cursed energy by attacking the soul directly, and that was why he was such a dangerous threat. Therefore, it would make sense that if you swapped souls with another person, the cursed energy would stay within its original body. That being said, this would have a huge benefit to the Jujutsu Sorcerers since they could take turns swapping with one another to learn how others manipulate and utilize their cursed energy to understand their techniques on a much deeper level. For example, Yuji could have swapped with Shoko to gain a much deeper understanding of reverse curse technique, while Yuta could have swapped with Yuji to potentially gain insight on the residuals of Sukuna's cursed energy. And with countless sorcerers swapping with one another, the options are truly limitless. But you may be asking, wait, anime analysis, how would the Jujutsu sorcerers even know how to do something like this? And the answer lies in Yuki Sukumo's soul book. We learn in chapter 222 that Yuki passed along a book to Choso containing information on all her previous research on the soul. I think it's very possible that through this book, Yuji as well as many of the other Jujutsu High members were able to gain much more insight on the nature of the souls of others, as well as their own. The next theory that I've heard has to do with the prison realm that Satoru Gojo was sealed in. You see, the prison realm is consisted of a front and back, and they were able to free Gojo by using the back of the prison realm provided to them by Master Tang. In. But we still don't really know what happened to the front held by Kenjaku. This theory speculates that Jujutsu Hai got their hands on the front of the prison realm and allowed Yuta to copy the curse technique responsible for its time altering effects. It's been stated that time does not pass the same way in the prison realm as it does in our world and that when Satoru Gojo was sealed, he had no need to eat or do the tasks that would regularly keep humans alive. 
with that being the case, it's also been stated that a person trapped in the prison realm will not age, die of thirst or starvation, and their bodies won't progress through time in any way. So perhaps the prodigy of the Jujutsu world was able to copy these strange time-altering properties and imbue something like his domain with them. That's why it would make sense that Yuji claims that he got so strong due to hard work and perseverance because he was actually working hard. It's just that Yuta was able to see the bigger picture and understand that they weren't playing by the normal rules of the universe. Regardless of what may have happened, I could definitely see the Jujutsu Sorcerers tampering with the laws of time in some way, shape, or form. What are your thoughts on how the Jujutsu Sorcerers cheated? I would love to hear them in the comments down below. If you haven't, be sure to check out my video speculating on whether or not Gojo will make a return to the series and how that ultimately may happen. Stay curious, anime fam. Peace.